Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach. I don't think I've done a screen capture in a while. The huge progress for today is I actually got the thermal printer that I use for labels to print a test page. I still can't get it to print anything, but it will print a test page, which is just absolutely huge. Um, so I got to send out um, uh, autographed uh, Jawbreakers Grand Bazaar. Speaking of which, non-autographed is getting out to people all over the world. Once I'm able to get out these autographed, uh, like two weeks later, I'll do a call for damaged and missing Grand Bazaar orders. So I love seeing pictures like this. Great. And then this guy did some uh, fan art of uh, covers. Fantastic stuff. Thanks for sending that in. So Jawbreakers uh, <coughs> Forever Graphic Novel is currently being colored. The interiors. Uh, Iron Sights 3, Impossible Stars 2, Impossible Stars 2 is just about to start getting colored. And so uh, Mark Millar has a email newsletter and um, he did a little fake out <laughs> with the title. He's like, the new Fantastic Four movie casting. And then you click on it and it says, is irrelevant. And you're like, wah, wah. So, uh, but then he goes on to talk about, uh, you know, he's got uh, Nemesis. This part in particular, I found very interesting because I've been doing a lot of downer and I'm not trying to make him downer, I'm just calling it like I see it. Uh, Perch had a very interesting video where he said that if there are cuts at DC, that isn't what is, you know, he basically said most likely a bunch of channels are going to be like, haha, DC, you had to cut titles. But if they make fewer books, that's actually a better sign than if they just keep doing what they're doing right now, which is driving until the wheels fall off. If they were to cut titles, that would mean that someone is actually in, in control. That would mean that someone actually cares and is minding the store, which we really haven't seen from the comic book industry as a whole for the last five years. They've just been spamming out whatever works uh, to subsidize spamming out what doesn't work. So Mark Millar describes right now as a very, very interesting time in comics. The industry changes every 20 years or so, as we move from golden to silver to dark to modern ages. A cycle of enormous upheaval when it does, and every single chair tends to change in the mainstream when these new waves begin. But what we have coming up is something even bigger, I think. 40 years of newsstand comics was followed by 40 years of the direct market we know and love. But there's massive tectonic plates shifting right now, and inside a year, I think the comic book industry... Is that a British thing to put a hyphen between comic and book? I'm a fan of hyphens, colons, semicolons, but I don't know how I feel about that. It's like when you see Spider-Man just as one word without a colon. I'm going to have to learn to deal with this. Uh, he says, I think the comic book industry is going to be pretty unrecognizable inside of a year. I predicted this coming shortly before covid but the global economy was put into an induced coma for two years, which slowed everything down. Comas tend to do that. Now it's back with a vengeance, and friends at the big two are telling me things beyond what I even guessed. If one company really does completely restructure how they do business, as is rumored, he's talking about DC, you can bet the other big company will immediately follow, and I think the danger for a lot of my friends is a race to the bottom in terms of mainstream comic book page rates. There's that. I don't know how I feel about these unsubstantiated hyphens. Page rates. Okay, it's page hyphen rates. All right. Just always remember that every time comic book, uh, that every time comic hyphen books are reinvented, they come back bigger than ever. It's a very smart, resourceful industry, and the cataclysmic events I suspect coming to the big two shortly will be hopefully short-lived before a, before a complete reinvention of the medium itself. It's going to look grim for a year or two for all our traditional favorite books, and a lot of people are going to lose their jobs, which is horrific. But at the same time, I think something new and solid is already being created right in front of us, and comics will be bigger and better on the other side of all this. This is something every pro is talking about right now, regardless of what they're saying online. But just remember, 
But just remember how the cycle goes and how every era after a collapse is rebuilt into something that benefits the creators more. From the rate hikes of the Silver Age to the new creator rights, the new generation ushered in. I still believe the best time for comic books is what lies ahead. And we're going to have a really lean but very healthy industry a couple of years down the line with a lot of new faces and a completely different way of doing business. So this this made me very happy when I read this uh, yesterday because it was right after I uploaded a really bummer downer video. He's basically talking about the cycle of birth, death, and regrowth. You see it every year in your lawn. You see it with trees. Uh, I left for a few weeks and there was some patches of grass where I was tending some new grass and I'm like oh, I know what's gonna happen I'm gonna leave for a week and a half and the Sun's just gonna bake it to death which is what happened in one spot but I had a plan I said I'm not gonna cut for like a week before I leave so then the surrounding grass will shade the baby grass and it'll survive and that worked except for one spot where the Sun kind of like bounces off some stone and that part is always difficult to grow grass in but the other areas, it totally worked. But what I was shocked at is how much grass grew in 10 days. Um, I guess there was a bunch of rain, and it was like two feet tall. So I talked to a friend who, he just watches like a million YouTube videos for 10 years, but he'll have a different interest every couple months. So you can literally just say like, how does soil work? <laughs> and he'll just explain it to you. So I didn't get it because I was like, I understand when stuff grows and it dies, and it decomposes and it goes back into the soil. But what I do is I mow and then that goes in the trash and it leaves. And I've never put nitrates, I've never put fertilizer, I've never done anything except for mow, water, and pick weeds. And I was like, I don't get how eventually the soil just can't grow anything, you know? And then he's explaining that there's actually, you know, basically unlimited minerals below and that when the, the water will kind of wick the minerals up and it's like, okay, that makes sense. But I thought it was really interesting to pair this with what Perch said, that when DC cuts its line by 25%, that there's going to be a whole bunch of YouTube channels dunking. It's like, ah, when it's actually the best thing that you can do. If you know anything about forestry, you know, forest fires are some of the best things that can happen to a forest. So we've gone about as far as we can with uh, everyone's gay and 50 variant covers on everything. And David Zaslav is treating the industry like it should always be treated, as an industry and not a clubhouse. And it's going to be rough. People are getting really angry at lashing out at basic stuff like, are you producing a profit? What kind of growth do you have year over year? Is it your growth or are you pointing to other people like Raina Telgemeier and Manga? When we say comics, we mean the North American direct market, specifically superheroes. 95% of the time in America, when they say comics, that's what we're talking about. And that comics has a lot of problems as we see from the constant GoFundMes and now the what I call povertizing where people will literally say, hey, I got $30 in the bank buy my books like what the hell why don't you just I guess that's slightly different than a GoFundMe but the GoFundMe's again are endless anyway before I go Jawbreakers Forever graphic novel Iron Size 3 and Impossible Stars 2 graphic novel and looking to finish the uh, uh, print file for Runner uh, Narzak book with Narwhal and I Jeez, probably by tomorrow or Monday Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.